Did you know that several of your favorite actors were almost cast in the Harry Potter movies? Yeah, I'm talking a completely different Lord Voldemort, Hagrid, and even Professor Dumbledore. The Harry Potter films as you know them are about to be flipped totally upside down. This is one of the more well-known potential castings, but can you imagine what the movies would have been like if Ian McKellen was cast as Dumbledore? Richard Harris played the iconic headmaster in the first two Harry Potter films, but when he passed away, Ian was considered for his replacement. Ian McKellen was familiar with playing wizards, as obviously he played Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings. I played the real wizard. So it seems like the obvious choice. Unfortunately, he did end up turning down the role because he didn't feel comfortable replacing Richard. I couldn't take over the part from an actor who I'd known didn't approve of me. The legendary Robin Williams was actually rejected for two roles in the Harry Potter world. After Robin Williams passed away, it was revealed by the casting director that he really wanted to be in the movies as either Hagrid or Lupin. The reason why he was rejected is because they only wanted to cast British actors in the film, so the role ended up going to J.K. Rowling's first choice, Robbie Coltrane. It's crazy that an actor could be too famous for a role. Obviously, we all know Kate Winslet jumped into the limelight after her iconic role across Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic. She starred alongside him again in 2008 in the movie Revolutionary Road and also won Best Actress that year for her role in The Reader. Casting was seriously looking at her to play the role of Helena Ravenclaw, Rowena Ravenclaw's daughter. But rumor has it that her agent thought the role was a bit too small for her, so the role went to Kelly MacDonald instead. I definitely know Tilda Swinton as the White Witch from the Chronicles of Narnia, so it definitely doesn't seem like a shot in the dark that she would play a role in the Harry Potter films, especially because she also joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe as the Ancient One in Doctor Strange. Tilda Swinton was actually in consideration for the role of Professor Trelawney, who runs Divination Class. Surprisingly, she ended up turning the role down because she doesn't like movies like Harry Potter. I mean, totally valid. The role ended up going to Emma Thompson. Hugh Grant is a well-known actor, having starred in movies like Love Actually and Bridget Jones' Diary. He first stepped onto the scene in 1994 with the movie Four Weddings and a Funeral. So needless to say, it would have been a pretty big deal had he been in Harry Potter. He was pretty much one of the only people they wanted to cast as Gilderoy Lockhart who first shows up in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, though he ended up turning down the role because of scheduling conflicts with another movie he was filming. Two weeks notice, naturally, the role ended up being given to Kenneth Branagh. Technically, yes, Eddie Redmayne did land a spot in the Harry Potter franchise with his lead role as Newt Scamander in the Fantastic Beasts film series. But did you know he actually auditioned to play Tom Riddle? Yeah, if you don't remember, Tom Riddle was a Slytherin wizard who later becomes Lord Voldemort. Apparently, Eddie Redmayne wanted that role and auditioned for it, but the audition went awful. He never got a call back, and the role was given to Christopher Coulson, despite being 23 at the time. Eventually, though, that did catch up with him as he was deemed too old to come back for Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So here's another little Lord Voldemort tidbit for you. Rowan Atkinson, who is most notably known for his performance as Mr. Bean in the 90s sitcom of the same name, as well as the voice of Zazu in The Lion King, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, diddly dee. Auditioned to be he who must not be named, who we've already named many times. He was actually one of the final few who were in consideration for the role. It was even rumored that he did in fact land the role but was deemed too comedic to actually play it. The role ended up going to Ray Fiennes, which was probably the right decision in the end, as Rowan Atkinson is definitely too funny of a guy. Saoirse Ronan was literally nominated for an Oscar at the young age of 13 for her role in the movie Atonement. It would have been huge if she was actually cast in Harry Potter. The role she was up for was Luna Lovegood, which she was super stoked about because she was a huge Harry Potter fan at the time. So I've basically worked with half the Harry Potter cast now. I'm pretty impressed. She ended up being overlooked for the role and it went to Ivana Lynch, who is three years older than her. Saoirse later admitted that, of course, course, she was disappointed she didn't get the role, but ultimately, she was way too young to play it. While all of these casting decisions were totally valid, too young, too old, too funny, and not British enough, I can't help but imagine a completely new Harry Potter franchise with every single one of these actors cast in the role they auditioned for. Which one of these actors would you have liked to see in the Harry Potter movies?